Have you ever faced a situation where you think you've really learned something, a concept at school or at work? You feel pretty confident about it, but when your friend or a colleague starts questioning you about it, why can't we do it the other way? Or what are the limitations? You find yourself without a good answer. And then you realize that you don't know the thing as well as you thought. Early on in my career, I've definitely faced this issue where I was training people on something and they asked me some tough questions and I was like a deer in headlights. Like I was completely lost, nervous, sweating. So if that's the case with you as well, the fine technique can help you immensely, which is named after Dr. Richard Feynman. He was a theoretical physicist who taught at Caltech most of his life. He was also a Nobel Prize winner and an awesome teacher. Bill Gates called him the best teacher he never had. The essence of this technique is to be able to explain complex concepts in a simple way. This technique has five very simple steps. Step number one, you start studying or learning the concept. Step two, you write and talk about it, just like a teacher writes on a board. But you can write and talk about it on your journal or or your digital note-taking app. Now, a lot of us already do that, but here's where this technique is different. Step three, now this is very cool about this technique. You question and critique yourself. What are the gaps? What doesn't make sense in my explanation? What alternatives can there be? What is the limitation, etc. Step four, then you go back, do more research, study some more till you can fill in those knowledge gaps. Step five is that you repeat the process, but this time you make it simpler. You use very simple words, no complex jargon. So even someone with no understanding of the subject can understand it. If you can explain it to a young child, you know it well enough. And that's it. During this whole process, your understanding of the concept will be tremendously solidified. And then you won't be sweating like me in your next training or your presentation. That's why they say teaching is a very good way of learning. I'll see you tomorrow.